Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I'm back from my road trip. It's Sunday afternoon here. It's a little overcast, not great weather, but it's good to be home. We got home Friday night about six o'clock. Uh, we time it that way, that we're off the main highway roads before dark. We have a lot of big trucks that move around the country um, after dark because there's less traffic on the road especially the main highways and we like to give it over to them and let them have a good run there's a lot of roadworks which is holding them up and my two of my brothers in their youth before they retired were long distance um, truck drivers um, they drove like a big semi and a trailer that, they called it a dog so there's a truck and a big trailer which is the dog and yeah Two of them used to do that a lot and one of my brothers who's passed away now always said be this to truck be courteous to truck drivers do this do that and we and i'm lucky that thing during his working career had to do a defensive driving course and it's always stuck with him what my brother chris said about truck drivers and yeah it is important to be courteous their trucks do not stop like a car it takes a lot longer and a lot of accidents happen because people aren't considerate of the size of the vehicle they're driving. So that's why we get off the road before dark and let them have the run of the country because we want our stuff and that's how it gets around the country. Um, we got home and Saxon was super, super excited to see us. We had been in touch with Reeves quite a bit who was babysitting him while we were away and um, yes had lots of conversations about the little things he'd been doing he went for what thing calls his weights and measures day yesterday saxon's grown three centimeters and put on three kilos in three weeks and is a terror he is just super energetic and yeah things said keep it um, reeve said keeping him entertained and exercise was probably the hardest thing to do after a day at work. But I think he's glad we're back. What Reeves didn't tell me was I'd received happy mail. He said he wanted it to be a surprise for when I got home. And it was a big surprise. So I'm going to share that with you in this video. I did do a video before of everything. The trip, the happy mail. It was 43 minutes long. Way too long. I just couldn't. I thought, no, I'll break it up. So today's is the happy mail because it's really special. I received happy mail from Barbara Leinhardt in USA. Now, most of you will know that from read her comments on different people's channels and she donates quite a bit to Wings for Rose Likes Crochet and is a lovely lady. Earlier this year, I sent her a little bit of happy mail while she was recovering from knee surgery. And no reciprocal gift was required, but she has sent me some happy mail and it is much appreciated. It is awesome. So I'm going to share that with you. First of all, there is a card. You are amazing. Just wanted to remind you. That is sweet. There are some lovely words in here that I'm going to keep personally for myself that um, I don't want to share. It is just a beautiful um, written sentiment. She talks about sea turtles because she lives on a boat and I have a thing for sea turtles here um, because we lose so many due to pollution. And because we've been on our road trip and holiday, some of the areas we went to are um, rescuing sea turtles, researching into sea turtles. And yeah, it was lovely because inside the card were two stitch markers. There was a sailing boat, which... A yacht I used to sail when I was younger believe it or not and there is a turtle a great reminder of this year's holiday and of Barbara I will always cherish these they are so lovely for those who have been subscribed for a while you will know that I drink tea I love tea um, I make tea cozies I do like herbal teas but not as much as thing thing is addicted to herbal tea now in this bag which i thought was great the story fact nice never seen anything like that here are some tea bags 
So I know I may have to share a few of them with him. Uh, because if I don't, he'll just sneak them anyway. First of all, David's Tea. Forever Nuts. What does it say? Nutty, sweet and addictive. Well, Thing is already addicted to nuts. Raw nuts. He would spend about $40 a week on raw nuts. And that's no joke. Almonds, cashews, walnuts. Has them every breakfast. Eats them late at night in front of the TV. Loves nuts. I bet he tries to steal that one. <laughs> then there's um, cinnamon chai. This will be mine. He knows I love chai tea. That one is from David's Teas. Never heard of them, but that's really nice. Where's it? Spicy, sweet and soothing. I love chai tea. It would be my favourite. From Stash, Licorice Spice. Another one. I like licorice teas. Not a, people, a lot of people do, but I do. Licorice root, cinnamon, orange peel, star anise, vanilla extract, orange oil. It's just cloves. Full of goodness, licorice tea. That is really nice. Chamomile. Thing does really like chamomile tea. Um, it's one of his favourites. I'll have this if I'm feeling a little anxious. It is very calming. And I have been known to make um, chamomile tea for my pets when they are super stressed. Because it's good for their coat and it can't hurt them. This one is honey vanilla chamomile. This is the one thing we'll want because he loves chamomile with honey. He is addicted to that. And he'll probably want this one because he loves lemon and ginger tea. And this is sunny orange and ginger caffeine free from Stash. They were the teas in the Happy Mail. There's more. She sent some sweet treats. I hadn't heard of them, but Reeves have. Now, he did remind me that I bought Tabasco sweet treats for Thing one year for Christmas in his lolly bag. They get a lolly bag at Christmas. And um, he can't have as much spicy stuff, one of the doctor's orders. Um, but, yeah, she has sent, and I've never heard of these, hot tamale. Hot tamales. Fierce cinnamon-flavoured chew candy. I will try a couple, but if they're too spicy, it'll be Reeves and um, Thing that will eat these. Isn't that awesome? It's great to get candies you've never tried, or lollies as we call them. Now, Reeves had heard of this one. This is Mike and Ike Original Fruit Candy. Now, she must have read my mind, so I love Skittles and any type of fruit candy. I haven't opened these yet. Much to Reeves' disgust, tonight is the Italian uh, Formula One Grand Prix and I usually stay up and watch it with Reeves. He's been addicted to Formula One since he was knee high to a grasshopper. Uh, it's on quite late here. I usually sit and keep him company through it and I do enjoy watching it with him because I've shared the interest with him since he was little. Um, I crochet or knit, have a cup of tea, he might have a beer. He can't tonight. Um, because yesterday he had his first vax for COVID and they told him no alcohol for two days. I never got told that, but anyway, might be because he's young. But yeah, he's um, had no side effects, just a bit of a sore arm. He's out there watching some sport at the moment because it's raining. But yes, he said do the video so we can have sweet treats during the Formula One. They will get open tonight. That doesn't end the Happy Mail. Now, I've talked about before, Hobby Lobby yarn is not something we get here and it usually has to be sent to me. My friend Janet Lepre in New York sent me Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and I have one ball left that I am reluctant to use. I cherish it. I do love it. And Barbara has sent me some Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Four balls in this colorway there's four of them which will make an absolute great 
project. It is beautiful and soft. I just wish I could visit a Hobby Lobby and have a big shop. It is lovely. The thing about this colour, which is called, and I know, the struggle is teal. Now in this, there's orange, which is my favourite colour, more orange. And while I was away, I did work on a project using these colours. And over this year, these aqua blue colours have really become a good favourite of mine. Orange will be number one, but I think this colourway is at number two. Here comes number two. So to combine them in a great yarn is awesome. Takes a 5.5 crochet hook, 100% acrylic, 252 yards in each ball. Can you imagine the project? Whatever I decide to make, it'll have to be something special and something I can keep for me. Because I like to do that with yarn people send me. Unless they say I've sent you this to use for charity. But it is lovely. And I am absolutely blown away with the Happy Mail. Barbara, thank you so much. Hopefully you've got my email by now. And you know how much I appreciate it. Reeves was extremely surprised it made it through. Because the USA um, made an announcement they wouldn't send any more parcels to Australia for a while because coming this way parcels have to go through Sydney if they're coming this way and Sydney is in lockdown bad um, COVID outbreak of the Delta variant it's been going on for weeks and there is a backlog of parcels he's surprised because it made it through fairly quickly and he's had notification of a parcel that's been sitting in Sydney for three weeks he said, I don't know how they determine what comes through. But yeah, USA have said because of the backlog and COVID, I don't think they're receiving parcels because of the COVID or sending parcels. So that could be a bit of a problem for me because I don't know if when you send parcels to Canada, they go through the USA. I'm going to have to have a chat to my um, ladies at the post office because I am doing an advent yarn swap with my friend and Yami sister, Karen Pruden from Stitch and, Let's Stitch and Make Up. We would do, decided we would do an advent yarn swap, but we would send it at the end of September and hope that it made it in time for the 1st of December. But now I might not be able to send it at all. I don't know. I have been shopping while I've been away for it and um, getting it ready. So yes, time will tell. Once I have the chat with the ladies at the post office. But lucky to get this beautiful happy mail. So to my friends who um, Angela, Joe's Webb and Janet Lepray in New York who went through Ida while I was away. I did keep sort of an eye on the news but didn't watch much television or listen to radio. I hope you guys are safe and well. And... Um, and things are coming good for you. We often go through um, events like that here in the tropics. Um, my theory is if you're above ground and still breathing, you're doing well and there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I will pray for you that that light shines brighter every day. So I hope you're safe, guys. To Mama Swift Trish, thank you for the shout out. To all those new subscribers who come back across come over and join my channel uh, from her shout out. You're welcome aboard. I hope you join in some of the make-alongs. Make sure you check out the uh, Scrap Timber mini make-along. That's not too hard to join in. I'll leave a link in the description below or above this video. But guys, until next time, I will do a video of my trip and some of the things I acquired that I can show you. In the meantime, I am catching up on my um, First don't make along. I have my blue rose to do for September, sapphire. The mini make along, I've had four entries in so far, which is awesome, but hopefully we'll get more. Um, I have three weeks of Nan's Next Knots Luck of the Draw 4 to catch up on, and I haven't even started Zeta's Calendar Cow for September, but that won't take me long either. Okay, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Remember, 
life's an adventure and you can have one yarny adventure every day, whichever one you choose. Bye for now. Bye.